but I'll type it in. So it's just Zwift.com. And it takes you to this page here. So the first thing you want to do is join Zwift for free. So you want to just click on this button. Now I've already downloaded it, so you can either download it for uh, Mac or PC. So when you join, you join for free for seven days, uh, or you can jump straight in for $10 a month. Um, so it is a paying site, similar to Strava, but it gives you far more functionality than Strava. Strava just records your data, whereas this will actually give you a training platform. So once you go through the whole download process, I'm not going to go through that with you, you will get a uh, little icon uh, either on your desktop or uh, in the Mac, it will probably be in your applications folder and you can drag that over to your, um, to your bar. So what you can do then is you just click on Zwift and it will start to load up. The first thing it will do is go through a lot of updates. It's constantly updating due to different bugs and stuff within the system. So it might take a little bit of time to update. But the first thing you want to do um, is you can either go through the join process through here. So if you were to join, you would head to the website and it would um, it would it would go through the, the technicalities of setting that up. Uh, whereas I've already done that. So once you've done that, then you just click on Ride. There you go. So this is what you are presented with when you log in. I've turned off the music. There's usually some music that happens with this, um, but in the settings, you can turn that off. So this is what you're going to be presented with. So this is how you pair your different devices. So what it will start looking for is either an AMP Plus uh, dongle or Bluetooth, so depending what systems you're using. For me, I use a controllable trainer which then connects into my cadence as well. Uh, I also use a heart rate monitor which is connected through an AMP Plus dongle because um, it's a Garmin heart rate monitor. So usually what you do is if you're looking for a certain trainer you should just click on the search button which will search for whatever devices are available. So make sure you've got your dongle plugged in um, or your Bluetooth uh, is turned on. So for Macs, you can just go up here and you can turn your Bluetooth on. Uh, if you are just using speed sensor and a classic trainer, then this is where you come up here for that. Uh, or if you're using a power meter on your bike, then this is where you go for that just up here. So for me, I'm just going to skip this because I don't have anything paired. And then you come to the um, first menu. So <clears throat> what you'd be looking to do is either select a workout. So we can go into that in a bit. Um, but you can basically, depending on what day it is. So as you can see down here, you've got Watopia, Richmond uh, or London. So London's blue. White is Richmond, black is Watopia. Um, it's mainly distributed between Watopia and London because Richmond isn't written as much. And you can basically see, so on this calendar, you see what days you'll be riding certain different things. You can add a goal. So for me, my, my goal is, is eight hours a week. And up here, there are various different events that you can join. There's all sorts going on, depending on your level as well. So. The A, B, C, D, E is uh, basically your categories of rider. So A is your sort of uh, four watts per kilo upwards. And then B is three, C is two, um, D, E is sort of down at that lower end. So you've got various different routes here. At the moment we're on Watopia, so you've got various different, um, or you can take a sprite. So the other thing you can do as well is if... Um, you go into the app, you can select various different, or you can search for various different riders, and people that um, that you follow will appear at the top, and you can actually click on them and, and ride with them. Um, other than that, once you've got kind of everything set up, then you can go into ride, and it will take you to where uh, you start. And then essentially from there, once you start pedaling, things will start to get moving and you'll start to see all of this 
uh, all your data start to appear, so your speed, your distance, how many meters you've climbed, and you will uh, start start clocking up the miles, which is great. And then over here, you've basically got people that are riding past you. So anybody above you is in front of you. Anybody below you is behind you. Um, then you've got your gradient up here, which is great, and you can kind of see a course profile. But then down here, you've got the full course profile, so you can always see what's coming up in front of you. Uh, and then over here, so you've got various different uh, results. So these are for uh, King of the Mountain, Sprint Jersey. Um, not quite sure what the other two are, but uh, so we've got KOMs and Epic KOMs there. Sprint Jersey and overall leaders. So really cool piece of kit. And then if you ever need to pause or stop, you can always go into the menu and you can do various different things. You can pair uh, your items again, uh, or whoop. so I just pressed escape to get out there. You can customize yourself, so you can choose various different um, clothing or bikes or wheels. Most of these you have to earn. For clothing, though, there are a few various different hacks where you can type in a promo code and uh, and you can get a bunch of different stuff. Um, what else have we got? So then you can go into settings as well. So like I said, a game sound off. I've turned all this off. Uh, I like my resolution high because I like to have it nice and crisp. And then there's various different ways to, to get your power, virtual power mode uh, or Z power. Um, I like metric. So other than that, that's kind of how you get started. And I will do more videos on how to connect to an app called Discord and also how to use the mobile app as well. So enjoy. We look forward to seeing you on Zwift.